glad you're here. This is a conference of some of the most amazing minds um, on the planet. And every year that I get to be here and in your presence, I feel thrilled. Uh, my background, I'm a comic. I am a writer, TV producer. I created The Daily Show. I was the head writer there for three years. Uh, and then I realized that I was just doing a lot of calling out and giving nobody really any solution, so I was just kind of an anger fluffer. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to pick one area that I care the most about, and I wanted to focus on that, and I wanted to use my humor to bring awareness. The issue is abortion rights specifically, yeah. reproductive rights, but abortion. <laughs> so I started this organization, Lady Parts Justice League. Uh, we do a couple of things. We make videos that expose all the horrible anti-abortion extremists around the country in politics and in information. And then we get in a van and drive around for three or four months a year. And we help independent abortion providers in really hard hit areas. We do comedy shows. And then after the show, we bring on stage um, all of the providers and activists that live in that town and they get to tell the stories of what they need and then our audience signs up to work with them. So we're growing activist spaces in spaces where it's really hard. Then we work with other groups um, to do initiatives that expose all sorts of shit around abortion because our media does not talk about it. Every state in the union has proposed some kind of law curbing access to abortion and our media covered abortion 0.2% of the time in 2018. It's a mess, that's why we don't know shit. So, we have this uh, initiative called Expose Fake Clinics. For those of you that don't know what a fake clinic is, uh, there's about 4,000 of them around the country. They're funded in 14 states by your tax dollars. Um, and the thing that is terrifying about them is that they're created solely by anti-abortion extremists to lure vulnerable pregnant people into their clinics who are seeking abortion. They pretend like they might offer it. They oftentimes lock the door. They take your clothes. They look like a medical facility. They give you ultrasounds. They give you pregnancy tests. And their entire mission is to talk you out of having an abortion. It's super hard to tell the difference. Here on the slide, the real clinic right there, family medicine and abortion care, straight up says it. This fake clinic, look at how similar it looks. So if you Google, I need an abortion, I'm looking for an abortion, more times than not, you're going to get a fake clinic referral, and it's really hard to spot them. So um, we do our best to try to figure out how to raise awareness about them. These two people that are standing here, the yellow brick road there is the path to the real clinic. That two arms length is a fake clinic with almost the exact same name. So if you're walking down that path, Somebody who's vulnerable doesn't know. So one of the things we did was we went to the real clinic and we painted that yellow brick road so that they can tell every patient, when you get there and you're confused, follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> so this shit's everywhere. They pretend to be real medical centers on college campuses. This was last week at Penn State, right here. They literally, do you wonder what that woman gave you? And then it is the website for one of these fake clinics. So men and people who are male presenting who will go in and go, I have an STD, they will shame you about being queer. They will shame you about being gay. It is garbage. And we're like, how do we keep doing this? How is this still happening? Well, turns out it's really still happening. Um, so TANF money is often diverted from TANF to fund these clinics in 14 states. Um, the Catholic Church, the Knights of Columbus fund them. Um, they basically take money from programs that actually help low-income families and then turn it into money that is destroying people's lives. So Chick-fil-A also funds them. Fun. Yeah, biscuits for babies, everybody. Chick-fil-A. How about a hand for Chick-fil-A? It's not that good. So um, we were in... DC, they have a fundraiser for their massive, massive funding of these fake clinics called The Stork Ball. Not kidding. The Stork Ball. So they had it at the Trump Hotel. We went and did a projection on the Trump Hotel. Kurt Cameron was the keynote speaker, so their movement is nailing it. And we put this up. 
So we're taking action. Now, here's the thing. They have something that is wildly horrifying. Not only do they have brick and mortar clinics, they also have mobile units. We have identified 200 vans that park in Walmart parking lots. Uh, they are all over the US. And so we launched an initiative this week. I don't think I'm gonna have time to show you the video, but I'll show it to you if you find me later. Um, so what they do is they park in Walmart parking lots, grocery store parking lots, or oftentimes they'll pull their mobile units on the same street or across the street from an actual abortion provider. And as you're walking to your appointment, they'll be like, hey, you have to come in here to get your ultrasound. Yeah. Is there anything creepier than a weirdo outside of a fucking van going, come in for an ultrasound? Yeah, hard pass. But if you're scared and vulnerable and you're going to your appointment, and maybe it's a small clinic, and maybe that van's associated with the clinic, and maybe you're like, oh, I go here to get my ultrasound, then I go in the building, and then you're in there, and you're with a weird creeper who's doing this. So we want people to know these vans exist. So, oh no, we're gonna go past that. I don't have time for that. So here's what the vans look like. They are sometimes a Winnebago, sometimes an action van, but nothing ever good happens in a van. Like pretty much ever. So at the ExposedFakeClinics.com website, we have launched Exposed Fake Clinics, Graham the Van. So here we have Graham the Van. What we want people to do is go to the website, click on where you live, find one of these mobile units, go take your picture, and on Insta and Twitter, you know, it's hashtag Graham the Van, name what the van looks like, where the van's located, so that people who are vulnerable and looking can understand where these vans are and that they're fake because if we don't figure out how to explain to people the difference between what a real healthcare facility looks like and what a scary coercive healthcare facility looks like, we're never gonna win the conversation. So that is that. All right, that is my talk. Thank you. Also tomorrow at the lunch break, um, if you wanna grab your lunch, I'm gonna be just downstairs. Um, and just having a like, sort of little gathering if you want to talk about repro rights, these bands, anything, I'll be downstairs and we can blab. So, are you ready to start this part of Frank? Yes! Yeah. Okay, I'm super excited. Um, this first person coming up is an incredible comedian and a colleague of mine, and I feel like right now, it, does, it just feels like sometimes the comedians are the truth tellers that are all we have left. Right? So done right, it, it is authentic, it speaks truth to power, it punches up, it punches sideways, it never punches down. Sideways sometimes is up, I gotta be honest. Sometimes you're like, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Um, and this comic is brilliant. And to take on issues that matter, especially when, I'd love to, have you heard the whiners who are like, you social justice warriors, they're policing language. I'm like, the only language you seem to want to say is the N word or the C word. You, like, if I ever heard you being like, oh, I, I can't talk about over policing or corporate, I'd never hear that. <laughs> it's so hard to talk about my corporate overlords, because you're not. <laughs> Bring it up. The good news is this next comic is coming, talks about over-policing, talks about black lives, talks about being queer, talks about all the issues that people need to hear about through a comedy lens. And I'm so excited to bring her up. Please welcome Elsa Wade! 